Yeah, yeah man, it's Spice One, Barcelona, Fetty, Chico, Shiz, Nilty. It's a hostile takeover with Zoda Roaster and Maisha Poo. We keeping it 100, man. Y'all stay you tuned. Have a lot Fly! of heart. You got to have a lot of soul. You got to have a fat gang. A brother better be strapped. And we live, and we live, and like my outro media say, my nigga Justin, we hot. Yeah, and y'all know it, because y'all keep on tuning in. Every time that subscribe come in, boom, y'all pop that thing on, and y'all let us know what's going on. You know, today, man, you know, Hot to Take Over presents another episode of Keeping It 100 with Zoda Roaster. And Maisha Poo. Yes, and we are in the building with the legendary, the incomparable, the motherfucking giggity, giggity gangster. You know what I'm saying? Out that haystack, man. And, and uh, y'all know what we're talking about. Spice One. <laughs> blah, blah. Ah. <laughs> Which camera are we looking at? This camera right here? Yeah, yeah. You can look at that camera or you can look at me. I got camera with my <laughs> glasses. <laughs> it's a thug ray vision. <laughs> My brother, <laughs> what's happening, man? My brother from another mother, man. Just uh, in case you guys don't know, give y'all some history, though. We grew up together. Me and my mother and my siblings moved from Oakland to Hayward to Arth Avenue one time in, in some condos, and they were living right across, man. And then we connected as children and, and been, been, been friends ever since. Man. What's been going on, baby? Shit, man, um, just working, you know what I'm saying? Like, really on the, on the road, just, um, man, I've been, I've been, you know, it's, it's been crazy because it's been like I've been uh, doing shows and, 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 and you know, it's, it's kind of kind of fucked up to say, but it's like I've been doing shows and burying homies at the same time, so it's it's been kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, even having time to even mourn the homies, you know what I'm saying? Right. My niggas, you know what I'm saying, that pass away. Like, you know, we look at... We look at uh, Welcome to the Ghetto video, you know, like, yeah. you know, when we, we look at that, you know, ha like half them niggas in there ain't even here no G more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, Almond D. Yeah, the whole, you know, 187 yeah. Fact, you know, uh, uh, yeah. Frank J. Um, you know, Frank so I mean. J. Yeah, so it's, it's, yeah. it's kind of, you know, um, it's, it, I've been tripping on it, but uh, it, it, it's, it's just making me go harder, really, well, you know what I'm saying? Is that, the, is that the phrase you're looking for, a bittersweet? Yeah. Because yeah. I look at it like this here, though, right? That we all come with a with a, with a a date. We all got our guarantee. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. And you have to just be the best you. You know what I'm saying? You long time ago, you chose a path in music. We were young. I remember when you was writing and you said you wanted to rap. And and we you know we didn't know nothing about going to no studio or nothing like that. We would take the cassette tapes. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. We put two radios no room, right there. Yeah, just like this, and we have one beat. We have a beat on one, and then you vo do the vocal on the other. Oh, it's some real shit right here. You oh, know? was we? We was uh. Man, we had to be like 12, 10 years old youngsters. Oh, yeah, yeah, no doubt about we it. We listening yeah, to we Short. Young. Yeah, yeah. We had two shorts, <laughs> and, and we knew that we we put we put one radio right here, and we push record, and then we push the 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 beat to the song right on the other radio, and then we got in between it and start and start and start spitting. You know what I'm saying? Right. I so, spit and then so it would record the beat. Crazy. This yeah. one it would record the beat and and our our vocal, but we used to do that shit though. You know what I mean? And and he, I used to say, oh, that dude is gifted. So Back then, next to Ken, it was. It was Zoe Spice. No, it was just Spice One. I didn't. I was. It was Chris start rapping first. first. Oh, okay. Big C yeah. start rapping first, and then um, I say it was Spice One that made Big C start rapping. But Chris say it was the other way around. <laughs> it might have been older too. though. Chris is older, so yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um. That, cause that's my big brother, just like he. That's yeah. your big brother. Yeah, no doubt though. about you know it. No doubt about it. But. What we did know that you were talented more than what we saw the other rap artists. You know what I'm saying? Your flair for for words and and your you know the the dynamics that you used 
when you were developing the song and, and things of that nature, though. You know what I mean? Where do you think yeah. that that came from? I don't know. You know, like my whole family. I think um, it's, I think it's hereditary or in a way or something. Like it's in my DNA or something. Because I don't even know why I get down like that. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I, um, like you know, you know, pops used to. Um, you know, he'd he be at the Uhuru house back in the day, and he'd be spitting his little poet, his his poems, and you know, and one day he driving me home, and he like, you know, you know, you remember Pops, he was, he, was, he very rarely smiled and Robert shit, just Green. a, yeah, just a, just a, you know, he was mean as hell, but he loved the hell out of me, you know what I'm saying? All my friends used to be scared of the nigga. Right. He was driving home, and he said, you know, he said, I got a poem I wrote for you, you know. And I'm like, you know, okay, you know, spit that, you know, spit that shit, pops. You know, since <laughs> <laughs> the passenger seat, he like, I got a poem, and he like, you know, niggas die, you know, <laughs> niggas gonna die being cool, you know. <laughs> and I'm, you know, I'm sitting, I'm looking at myself, I'm looking in the mirror, like looking in the mirror, like you know, on the passenger side, like, like trying not to laugh and shit, like this nigga crazy, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. He got niggas gonna die trying to be cool. Acting a fool, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I remember him saying some shit like that and then, right. you know, um, it was crazy when I got older, niggas was dying trying to be cool. Straight know, up saying? though, you so, understood what he was saying, man. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, funny, he, but he I, I felt this shit. It's state of mind. It's, I, like I said, it's a, he's definitely in a revolutionary state of mind, uh, you yeah. know. He used to be at the Uhuru house, I'd go get my hair cut, you know. And, 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 and the crazy part is like, um, I, grew, I grew up in Hayward, but I got a picture on, in my, on my Instagram. I was like, I wasn't even one yet. And we was out here in Oakland. Right. You know what I'm saying? I came out here first. You know what I'm saying? Right. Then I went to Frisco. Then I moved to Hayward. You know right. what I'm saying? But I was, I was here first with my daddy with the Afro and the, and, the, and, the, and the Black Panther shit and all of that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They moved us to Hayward, you know, um, uh, yeah, after, say, after Frisco. we are offspring of the Black Panther, though. Like, People our age, fifty and fifty-one. Yeah, even our yeah. mental is there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't I'm help definitely. it. You know, I I look at shit like I didn't get the the uh, the um, the COVID shot because you know I just you know I'm yeah. just like Conspiracy man. Conspiracy theories. I'm yeah. definitely. You know what I'm saying? I done seen some shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you know like the, like the uh, like like remember like like Jamar pops. Remember um, um, James R. Thornwell? Right. You know what I'm talking about? J yeah. Jamar, Jamar daddy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Remember we used to kick it with Jamar and all that? Most definitely. Like we seen that shit go down. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like look up James R. Thornwell. You know what we talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, so I mean. So motherfuckers have a reason to, to, be, to, to not, feel like that. Yeah, yeah. to feel that way. If, if you Which look up James R. Thornwell, you know what we talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I mean. We some deep motherfuckers, man. We ain't just no regular niggas. You know what I'm saying? We we out here in the, in the Bay Area, we the first motherfuckers to organize all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? From the Black Panthers to everything else. You know what I'm saying? So no I mean, about it. we constantly, basically, on everything. Like, out, you know, they say, you know, why why the black men scared to go to the doctor? Really? They gonna kill us. They 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 they, 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 uh, they fucking dissecting us and shit. <laughs> they trying to figure. Out, they want our motherfucking uh, melanin and shit. Yeah. 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 Wait, so, so like going back to like being <laughs> originators, right? In my mind, when I think of Spice One, I think that like you are the first with the kind of like tongue twisting rap. You oh know? yeah, yeah. Um, I, what inspired you? What motivated you to rap like that? It's 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 a um. Uh, uh, I wanted to have different styles, and, and you know, I just started making up shit, and I figured, you know, I, I said, you know, too short rap about. Uh, pimp shit real slow, you know what I'm saying? So I want to do the opposite, maybe rap about some gangster shit real fast and, <laughs> and just be different from everything, you know what I'm saying? Right. Throw some reggae up in there and, and, right. and stutter a little bit and rap fast, just make up shit while I'm going, just to entertain my audience. Because I feel, I, this This is how I feel, I feel that, that, um, that my audience is buying my music because I'm doing something that they don't, they, that they can't do. You know what I'm saying, right. and, and and otherwise I'm gonna feel like I'm I'm j otherwise I feel like I'm jipping my audience. You know what I'm saying. Right. If I'm not doing something that they can't do that they paying me for, then then I feel like I'm 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 you know I'm, I'm shorting them. You know what I'm saying. When so you I first go came hard. with that stutter and shit, I thought that was so genius. <laughs> I said, man, that is so <laughs> dope right there, man. That <laughs> nigga is making. That nigga make the stuttering world feel proud. Hey, listen, I love all, all <laughs> stuttering rap yeah. that's out today. I cannot catch it. I can't get it. But Spice One, I can say his shit 
all that. Yeah, no yeah, doubt yeah. about it. Too, you yeah, because you was coming fast. Yeah. And it, it was able for us to understand yeah, it yeah. and rap along with it, you know what I'm saying, and, and things of that nature. Nowadays, it's really just a lot of noise. Even though I've, I've actually listened to some of this music that we got nowadays, they be saying stuff, but just not to the point to where it's, you can readily understand it. Just like right. it right, makes right, you feel right. like you know you you is in it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like he just juice, finished doing it. That hyphy, like yeah. like you had his hyphy back then. Yeah, well, like, it's like you 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 if you want to you know you trying to get your point across, so, so you you speaking your words correctly. You trying to make everybody understand what you're saying, even though you're rapping 100 miles an hour. Enunciation. You, you, you want everybody, yeah, and and and, and your, uh, you know, your delivery, the way you uh, pronounce what you're saying, or and, and the um, the energy um, yeah. that you that you uh, use on every verse or every line or whatever. Uh, and so, like I told you earlier, I've been just like you know, um, just rapping lately off pure energy, like you know. Um, I don't write nothing down. I just go off whatever energy I had on, on when I first heard the song. I just, if the mic is hot and it's on, I just go up there and step to that shit and, and start and start spitting. If I fuck up, nigga, bring me back. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's that's the wow. going thing now with yeah. a lot of rap artists now. This is how they're they yeah. they they're recording. It's those. energy. It man. saves a lot of time. It saves a lot of time, dude. And I think it might bring um, authenticity mm. into the to to, to the recording, it's like I don't have to think too hard about this because rap is basically based on I've experienced it. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. Rap music is like, you know, I'm rapping this shit because I experienced it. So why right. do I have to sit there and think about it and write it down? If I experienced it, then I know how the shit go. Boom. I know I'm gonna get up here and make these words rhyme and put the shit together. You know, right. Um, a lot of uh, artists. You know, some some people are uh, a good are good businessmen. Right. And some people are artists. You know what I'm saying? Um, I happen to be an artist. You know what I'm saying? As far as when it comes to the music, I respect the art of the game. You know, right, right. Um, I respect other artists that um, that really got that that dumbass crazy flow, like uh, um, um, even the white boy Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, Buster Rhymes. You know, uh, Twister. Uh, Tech Nine, you know, uh, motherfuckers that got real flows and don't play with the game. You know what I'm saying? Um, Who would you do a versus with? I would do a versus with anybody. You know what I'm saying? It's, my catalog around. is so big. You know, yeah. yeah. I, I, my catalog is so big. I, I figure I, I, I actually think I could surprise whatever audience that we that we encounter. You know what I'm saying? Like my yeah. cat, it's songs that I got in my catalog that fuck with all of that shit that all of these niggas ever did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, up, and, and I think that they know it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so you know, oh, um, no, I, I'm a, I, I would be bringing up songs motherfuckers ain't even heard, but, but, the, but the spit on there is so raw. You know, they're okay. All right, it's gonna have to pass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, uh, what you call it? Uh, 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 Spice One, um, One on One. Yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? I have to lay. Name from? Well, it means Sex Pistols, Indo Cash, and Entertainment. It's a it's an acronym, okay. you know, and and it's it's all number one, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, all that shit is like, you know, that's what I'm rocking for, you know. Sex, pistols, endo, cash is all entertainment to me, you know what I'm saying? It's, Straight up. And um, I'm entertaining my audience, uh, speak speaking about sex, pistols, endo, and cash, you know. Um, you so spice on it, huh? yeah, I'm putting spice on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's always been an acronym, you know. Uh, every everything, um, everything I, I do is, is is you know is, is based on some art. You know what I'm saying on, on the art form of, of what I'm of uh, what I'm re recording or writing or something like that. It's just it's like that without me even trying. You know what I'm saying? Look here, speaking on some on business savvy, you said that you were an artist and you were more of an artist than a businessman. Early in your career, you made some bad business moves yeah you know what i'm saying hell yeah which which changed the whole narrative of what you could be doing right now you know what i'm saying right so what would you tell these young artists right now today that's coming up in the game and trying to get a um a, a career in the music business how important is the business side? i would say you know you you have to you got to live you gotta live with no regrets, and you gotta make the right decisions. You know what I'm saying? At, at the same time, um, 
you know, that first album, Zoe, we did, what, a uh, million copies at yeah. $13 a unit. That was $13 million. You know, we didn't even see a mother, we didn't even see a million of that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? We did that three times after that. You know, I'm supposed to have enough money right now to buy that whole goddamn block over there. You know Straight what I'm up. saying? So, I mean, you know, um, knowing somebody that. somebody got it. Somebody got it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, knowing that, um, yeah, you definitely have to be up on your business. You know what I'm saying? After after that shit, um, um, so um, uh, the the main thing is, you know, I might sound corny or, or square right now, but you know what I mean. Y'all gotta stay off the drugs, like. Yeah. You know, if you, if you plan on being a good, a real businessman and getting your money, man, you gotta, you gotta stay off drugs. <clears throat> uh, um, you can't be, you know, uh, smoking dope or, and, you know, whatever the fuck you're doing. You gotta, you know, keep your mind straight. And uh, the woman that you get with has to add to your, add to what you're doing. You know, right. um, depending on on who you who you're dealing with, um, you gotta have people around you. That um, that, Has that your best interest yeah, there. you know they they say they say go where you celebrate it and not tolerate it. You know what right. I'm saying? I, I and I, I learned that just from being, you know, I, I go where I'm celebrated. They say, you know, hey, what you know, Spice, what you doing all the way out here in fucking North Dakota? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm celebrating out here. I go with a I go with a love that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the house was packed. They knew the words to the song. So I mean, yeah. to the to the songs and shit. So I mean. You know, um, to, the, to the everybody. Message, the message I want to send because what I saw, what I saw, where you fucked up at a lot, was your patience. Mm -hmm. See, patience. Th this how important patience is in the music. <laughs> you know me well. This, yeah, this most my guy though. You wanted to get. You want to get on. You know what I'm saying? I remember we was in the car in the Mustang one time, and we was talking about. They was finna give you some money. Mm -hmm. And either they was gonna give, we was talking about how much money you was supposed to get, and this, that, and the other. And you was like, man, I'm finna just grab this motherfucking money, you yeah. know. But if you would have patience enough to say, you know what, let me just wait, because what you want to do in having patience is you want to have your publishing in play. You want all your motherfucking publishing. You feel me? You want your um, your masters. You, you dig what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. You want all these things that's going, that, that's, you know, um, your your performance um, um, credits, all that shit that, that you got coming, you want all that to be in place. Yeah, yeah. You want your royalty, royalties, royalties is what people don't understand here. When you do a contract with a record company, your royalties is some of the last shit that you should wear about. Your yeah. money come from your shows and your features. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you get your money from your shows, now y'all take this game down. When you get your money from your shows and then features, then you take that money and then you start investing that money. Your yeah. royalties will come later on, but only when your debt is paid off. Yeah. When the record company puts money up for you, that money is recoupable. Yeah. That means that they're gonna get that back with a percentage. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So don't be worrying about nigga go go get to lick money. I mean they 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 um they uh nigga go get they, they they show money and they and they uh and they verse lick money mm -hmm. and fuck it all jewelry all this when well, you should take that money and then invest it into you another business. Now you got your own business that you creating your own income from and you yeah. can still wait on that motherfucking, you could be paying, you. that's a stream of income, streams of income that you're waiting on, and you can wait on your royalties to kick in. Yeah. And then you'll be able to see your, yeah. your money though. You know what and I'm you saying? Don't, and you don't want to learn that shit too late, you know what I'm saying, like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm supposed to be damn near, you know, I made that, la that record label about a, a, a close to $100 million, you know what I'm saying? And so you don't you don't want to learn too late like me, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, and, 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 you know, uh, uh, I took the hits um, so you guys, so you youngsters can learn. You know, me and a lot of other artists, including uh, R and B artists and all the artists before before me, uh, took hits so so you as uh, youngsters can uh, see what not to do. You know what I'm saying? Are you a um, better businessman today? 
I'm, I'm, I'm 100 percent better, uh, better businessman today. I get all my money today. You know, I get my <laughs> money from from everybody, from Sony, from Universal, from M from Empire. I work with Gazi, uh, everything. You know, yeah. I, I do all my. Um, I got my own label, uh, Third World Music Group. We got, uh, you know, from BMI to ASCAP, from Sound Exchange. You know, I'm, I'm getting all of that money. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I was telling, I was telling somebody, man. That you know he sustain his career to takes care of his, his he don't do nothing else. Like yeah. the, the, it's, it's I don't gotta music. do shit out. I don't have yeah, to do don't shows and nothing. That money out. gonna come in regardless. Now think now just think just think if you would have done it right in the beginning. Mm. It'd have been a whole different story. I, yeah, I was seeing some of that money. Exactly. Because money. the team around you didn't well, yeah, know. you know, I mean, you know, Zoe, we, 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 what was, was I like? Yeah, I was like 20, yeah, 20. Was kids. Me and mm -hmm. Pac was still waiting by, we were still waiting by the liquor store trying to get people to get us alcohol. We mm -hmm. weren't even old enough to buy drink, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Up. So, I mean, we, we didn't know what the fuck was going on, and, and they yeah. took advantage of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, as far as, you know, we didn't even know what, I was like, taxes, taxes my ass, you know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. you know, I hit, I'm hit Credit, by the, taxes, I'm hit yeah. by the California Franchise Tax Board for 200 some thousand or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Right. You got to deal with shit like that um, when you, when you, when you uh, dealing with, you know, so, you know, I'm Chico and all business, of that, but yeah. but I got to deal with Spice One problems and shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm Chico from Hayward, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I deal with Spice One problems, <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? I got to deal with a $280,000 tax return from California well, Franchise Tax it, Board and shit. Did anybody tell you and you just didn't listen, didn't want to listen, or just everybody around you just was ignorant to the... the nobody industry. knew what was going on, you know, nobody, nobody, I don't, I don't about think Nobody anybody, that cared. Yeah, okay, that, okay. like it was people that knew what was going on. That's why they did what they did. They knew we didn't know. Yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. They knew we didn't know, and people don't they understand. Knew we didn't know what was they, going they on. They wonder dude. why I be, you know, on it like I be on it because I sit and watch, and I learn. I said, damn, you know, and we had, like, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't rapping like he was rapping at the time. I was going to prison, so he didn't have to go. And all the other motherfuckers, I was taking hits. Yeah, yeah, you know but, what I mean? I, but, I did a lot of, I was doing, I was about to do a lot of dumb shit. Like, you yeah. know, um, like, you know, man, you got to have somebody in your in, around you in your life, like some real homies around you, some real niggas around you that's going to tell you, hey, man, you know, you know, don't, don't, don't do that. <laughs> right. Saying, like, we gonna handle this did a different way or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. and, and like Zo was 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 that to me, you know what I'm saying? Um it, and, and you know, I talked to a lot of other cats, um, like like I was at um I was at Rap a lot, uh, with Lil J. Yeah. I think I was like maybe twenty two, twenty three. Yeah. And this fool called uh, Larry Hoover. Yeah. On the phone, right? And I'm like, you know, he put Larry on the phone. <laughs> he put Larry on the phone, right? And my dumb ass, like, yeah, Larry was happening. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, anything, you know, you know, you, you know, whatever you need. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you need me to, you know, right, handle right. some business for you, man. You right, know what right. I'm saying? You know, my dumb ass, it's, it's good. Let me know what it is. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. like, you know, and he told me he like he like Spice, man. Do your do music. your music, man. Yeah. You know, like just do, just do your music. Yeah, that's so, what we need so to then Lil, Lil D told me the same thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So hearing it from them, you know, they they kind of, you know, y'all kind of saved my life. You know what I'm saying? As far as me doing dumb shit, you know what no, I'm saying? No, it ain't kind of. We had two short here the same thing, and I asked him, being around all them gangsters, mm -hmm. how did you end up not getting caught up into that? And he let us straight know, man, that them niggas was would have whooped my ass. Them niggas wasn't they letting were telling me. him like, nigga, hey, yeah. you them know, hey. letting me do that though. You know what I'm saying? And segueing in, we gonna get off that for a second. Hopefully, everybody learned the lesson one on one on how to handle your business when it comes to this music business. You know, business yeah, first. Yeah. Be patient. You know what I mean. Make sure that all your your eyes are dotted and your T's are crossed, and then make sure that. You, you you know what's going on before you start doing it. All paperwork, make sure you read it and let let, let uh, understand what the bottom line is, you know what I mean? And then you're going to get your just due and then you're going to be able to be really successful. Now, yeah, because they're, they're going to put shit in the contract that, you know, they, they put the contract, you know you say, make a contract in layman's terms, you know. Right. <laughs> make Give me a two, a two fucking two or three page contract. Don't give me no damn book, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, make yeah, sure y'all get some shit y'all can understand, you know, even a lawyer can tell you, you know. Right. Listen, so in your, in, in the, a few times, man, it was, you know, a lot of tension in um, the Bay Area. With, mm -hmm. with rap groups, you had got into it. You had got into it with Too Short, the Dangerous Crew, 
one time know what was that about when the, uh at the players ball yeah yeah we just <laughs> talk about that uh, yeah. we i mean you know it was a misunderstanding you know i i, I didn't know that that the homie was uh, i didn't know that was man it was like some um inside family shit because i didn't know that who motherfuckers was you know what i'm saying i just came up there and you know i just you know one of the one of the motherfuckers just uh started talking to me and shit and you know and i just you know the things that a motherfucker said i just wasn't feeling that shit you know what right. i'm saying so i was kind of like man you know i'm from hayward man so i already got a complex you know what i'm saying right. i'm already like <laughs> You know, like y'all niggas think I'm finna be some kind of suckers because I'm from Hayward, nigga. I, I kill everybody up in this motherfucker. You know right. what I'm saying? Who the fuck? Yeah. So you know, and, and and it makes you act a fucking fool because you know you you, you flip the fuck out because 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 I'm from Hayward, nigga, nigga. Hold on, nigga. Let me let me blow this nigga shit back so yeah. so they understand and leave me the fuck alone out of this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I flipped out. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, and you know it was a big ass fight, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas get knocked through windows and crazy shit, you know. And you know, I, I had some North Richmond with niggas, niggas with me. You know, I had the one eight seven fact with me. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? I know. And it was like maybe five or six of us. You know what I'm show saying? Show around. And yeah, show around everybody with yeah. us. But, I mean, we, we can't handle like four thirty niggas. You know what I'm saying? But it was us fighting us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so well, you called me. <laughs> You called me. It sounded like your gun was still smoking. Yeah, I was. I was. <laughs> hey, them niggas tried to jump me. I was so bad. mad. Them niggas tried to woo. I just. Sh I said you shot. <laughs> I, I thought the niggas said you shot somebody. I was like, you ruined it for us all. <laughs> like it's over. <laughs> I would have just now been getting out and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, if any motherfucker shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, yeah. So y'all end up that that whatever happened with that. You guys end up coming back together and getting an understanding. Yeah, I figured out it was it was the homie and shit. Like, oh, but God, my nigga, my bad. <laughs> shit. Right. So I mean, you know, shit. Um, I went up there. You know, I had I had one of my crib homies with me. You know, what I'm saying from on the park. You know what I'm saying. So I go up to the to the to the next little function. You know, we remember we was riding around a short segment. Right. You know, I squash that shit or whatever. You right, know? right, right. So I'm like, you know, I go up there with uh with, with profit. Remember, remember profit yeah, from, yeah, from LA. Yeah. <laughs> I had that nigga the pencil say, nigga, if it go down, right, <laughs> be ready. Exactly. That nigga called me one day and said, nigga, that's when I knew you was crazy. Straight up. Nigga said, you walked me up in there and gave me the pencil and said, if it go down, nigga, <laughs> just get it. <laughs> I had the pencil, nigga, fuck that. Yeah. I'm from Hayward, nigga. I feel like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a rapper. Like, come on, man. You know, I got, I got a complex. I got a yeah. Hayward rapper complex. So Straight the fuck up. Well, that's the last nigga you want to fuck with. Um, <coughs> what kind of rep Hayward have? Me. I'm the rep. I'm Spice One. <laughs> That's the nigga shirt that I'm motherfucker rep, to the haystack. Why that you tripping? Why you tripping off Hayward? No, because, because Hayward was not shit. Oakland. Hayward, oh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be crazy, man. And we love Oakland. I came here first. You know what I'm saying? I'm from, I'm from, yeah. I'm from nigga, fuck that. I'm from the town. I just moved to Hayward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But don't ever get it twisted. But Hayward you know wasn't, saying? Hayward wasn't a city where people claimed mm -hmm. they were from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I remember you that. Even had to, I'm telling you, you even had to say, though, man, I got to call this motherfucking city something else, like the haystack. Yeah, <laughs> so we call it the stack. That nigga you know started calling the it the boys. haystack. He started that shit. <laughs> you the you know stack boys, saying? man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, most definitely. Shit, we had to have some kind of swag to it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> stack boys, nigga. We, we out here in the, in the, in the haystack. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Shout out man. to G Nut, all the 187 fact. You know what I'm what's saying? Some, what, stack boys. What's some solid dudes, though? Mm. What's some solid dudes? You got some real motherfuckers from everywhere. I don't give a fuck where you from, man. And I'd have been in several different prisons <coughs> and several different cities and some states. And you got some fake niggas everywhere. Yeah. And you got real cats everywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? And it depends on what you gravitate to. If you gravitate to that fake shit, then that's who <laughs> you are. You know what I mean? Hey, you know, I, I just want to address. I want to address every nigga that's from Hayward talking about they from Oakland. I'm from Hayward, nigga. <laughs> Represent that shit. Don't be out here with no fake ass. I'm from Oakland ass, nigga. You from, if you from Hayward, nigga, represent the stack, nigga. Put. I went to Japan. They said you from Hayward. I said yeah, nigga. Straight up. And I, that ain't, that ain't no bullshit. 
So yeah. all my niggas from Haywa there, I went to Japan. And they said, you from Haywa? <laughs> I said, yeah, nigga. I'm from Haywa, nigga. You feel me? So, I mean, you know, hey, represent Shaq, that from shit, way man. back. How you going to be a real hey, nigga? Shaq, you can't represent where you really from, though. You know what I'm saying? We, yeah. You know how we used to get out on Tyrell, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't get it fucked up. You know, a, a lot of Palmasia boys. Palmasia boys, Cahill, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All of that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it ain't no, it ain't no secret, you know. Um, I fuck, I, I come out here to, to, the, to, to the, I used to steal cars and drop them off to my niggas out here in the town. Yeah, like, yeah. hey, nigga, you know what I'm saying? I got this motherfucking car I just stole. Y'all can get with what the fuck y'all need. Up Let me tell shit. y'all a story right quick. So, <laughs> I hadn't seen Chico in a long time. Right, Chico, if nobody know, that's, that's the nigga, that's the nigga name. Robert Green, Chico, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Spice one is rap name. Fanny Chico from yeah. the Bay. Yeah, so. I'm riding down one of those to- one of the most notorious blocks in my hood. Legendary, 23rd Ave. I always remember this. I see a tall nigga with a Fila sweatsuit on. And, and I'm looking up saying, nigga, that's that's Chico. Oh yeah, I remember that shit nigga, too. I, yeah. hit the, I said, man, <laughs> I said, what you I come back around, this nigga on 23rd. Selling crack. <laughs> I say, what is you doing out here, man? I said, man, I'm trying to get some money, man. I'm like, man, is you serious, man? He was like, man, hold on. <laughs> hey! Nigga <laughs> spit some rocks out his mouth. I say, nigga, if you don't get in the car, he got, he got to call me. We went to 25th, oh, man. Shit. We kicked it. <laughs> we kicked it for a minute. He's like, man, I'm missing money like a motherfucker. Yeah, I, I would have dropped him back over there. He was, um, he was fucking with June. I think I was it was. Fucking with the mama. No, no, no. Which mama you was fucking with? June. June. Was June. Yeah. Yeah, you was fucking with. We went June. to Hayward High, so he was with the Hayward oh. High. Oh. <laughs> I seen him up there. He was like, he was like, hey, nigga, come to Twenty Third. He was like, make a song about Twenty Third. <laughs> so then you got now you got City Streets. Right. So I made the song "City Streets" about twenty third. You know okay. what I'm saying? And, and next thing you know, I'm on. I'm in. The, I'm in. The tw- I'm in the twamps, like getting it in. Like nigga, this is my nigga. You know, I fuck with my, my guys. Fancy, man, I say this nigga really out here selling crack, man. <laughs> in the murder dubs. In the murder dubs. <laughs> Like for real, I'm like, okay. And they don't let, they don't do, they wasn't just letting the motherfucker get down like that either. You couldn't no, just you go down come, over there and know, get down. You, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say one of the most notorious, one of the most notorious blocks in the hood, 23rd. Yeah. You couldn't just, just get out there. And they was sell like, them do up. your thing, no, nigga. You got that motherfucking city streets. Look, I don't give a fuck where you was from. You couldn't come to the 20th. Nah, you just hell no. Nah. motherfucking dope. Hell no. Nah. You just just show me love. But when I'm seeing you out there, I said, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Is this the twilight? I no. needed that shit though. I was, I was, I was broke to the motherfucker, so I went out there and got it in. So you know, shout out to them niggas, man. You know, straight up, real spit. You know, I needed that shit. It you was cranking over look. there, huh? <laughs> Hell yeah, it was cracking like a motherfucker. <laughs> I come over there, and leave my stolen cars, man. Y'all niggas go up there and do that shit. I'm about to go there back down the block. We was ass. We was, we was really assholes, dude. We Ooh, was doing some dumb yeah. shit. It's what if time? Oh, okay. We got a question. We got a question. What if you won the lottery for four hundred million? What would be the first thing you did? Go get my mama. <laughs> shit. Go get my mama and go put her in a in a in some shit that in a Batman mansion. Shit. Straight up. Hell yeah. First move. Put go get my mama and put her in Bruce Wayne mansion. <laughs> the first thing you do is go get your mom. The first thing you would buy is a house for your mom. Yeah, yeah. Bruce Wayne man. Yeah. No yeah. doubt about it. No doubt about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got to be Batman shit. Bruce Wayne Mansion. Mom's <laughs> gonna be up there. So here's another one. One more question. If Beyonce called you <laughs> and said, "I'm tired of Jay Z shit. What you doing tomorrow? <laughs> what would you do?" Man, Beyonce would be pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be pregnant within about a week. Have some days. little chicos. Yeah, she'd be pregnant. <laughs> little chico. She'd little get some chico. of this Hayward dick. <laughs> <laughs> she'd be pregnant as hell. Haywa. <laughs> she'd some of that Haywa. <laughs> some of that Haywa. <laughs> Sorry, Jay Z, but hey, man, you know, it is what it is, pimping. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, we just we just wanted to come with some flair right quick, just to, <laughs> some different shit. You know, just I like asking them type of questions because you never know 
what a motherfucker would do in in, in a certain in situation, certain situations, in man, certain you know, situations you know, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. But um, listen. So you live in Vegas now. Yeah, yeah. You live in Vegas now. Do it. Is how is the music business in Vegas like? What is the what is the mu music scene like there in, out there in Vegas? Do you get shows out there, or or you just live out there? I kind of just live out there, you know. Um, it's crazy because, uh, you know, I go to um, I go to Germany and uh, something, and, and can barely walk down the street without signing an autograph. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, and um, come back to Vegas and. You know, they do a big show around the corner with everybody, and I'm like, I'm not in it. And I'm like, I'm feeling some kind of way. Like, hold on. Like, they don't know I'm out here, you know what I'm saying? Go where so, you celebrate it, not tolerate it. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what it is, you know. Yeah. Um, Vegas is, is not really a, a hip-hop um, embedded tell people community, that all the time. so it's kind of hard for you to, you know, do things in there. Man, know? I tell people that all the time. People yeah. are like, man, I'm finna go pursue my music career in Vegas. in Vegas. I say, take this dirt with you, yeah. cause you gonna bury that motherfucker. Yeah, for real, cause they ain't really too much <laughs> hip hop shit going on out there. You know, they, they, um, try to, you know, they don't really want motherfuckers out there like that. But the cold part about it is, it's the uh, second uh, uh, biggest uh, black community, growing black community in the nation right now. Like. Yeah. There's so many black people out there. It's ridiculous. I drive around like, damn, you know, you was out there. You, I, I know you had a trip a few Come times. On, like, man. damn. Yeah, yeah I, 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 come from? But so I had a, no you know, idea, dear, that there was that ghetto out in that motherfucker. Yeah, there's that many black Part people the out there. Street. Man, yeah, it's, 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 it's so ghetto. Down. It's so much. Look, if you go by the casinos and go to the back of the casinos, yeah. That's where all the ghetto was at. Yeah, it's, it's hood all you back You know what I'm saying? It's all hood back like, there. Like, don't drive around that motherfucker at night. Like, the last yeah, exactly. place you want to, especially yeah. to stop. Like, yeah. nah, wrong, wrong idea. So, Spice, why do you feel like it's more love, that you get more love in other countries than here at home? I mean, because, you know, it's it's crazy because, um, you know, um, Shit, when I landed in I landed in Japan, they was that they was at the fucking airport like I was Michael Jackson or something. You know, they was like they had all my old school tapes and all my CDs and they were standing there with signs and posters and Spy Wan and Spy Wan and, and, and Bow and shit, you know, and it, it was like crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, um and then you you know, you like I said, I come back here and walk through Walmart, motherfucker don't know who I am, they walk right past me, you know what I'm saying? So it's 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 just weird though. It's weird yeah. as hell. You know what I'm saying? Because wow. you know I go to Germany and, and I do a show and, and and um I go to Germany and I do a show and, and it's like you know I, I'm I'm like tripping on a promoter like damn he got this big ass uh, venue and, and and you know it's like three thousand people venue and I'm like you know he gonna lose money. You know what I'm saying? So but then you I got it yourself. I come there and it's it's just Spice One and, 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 and some local acts, and then he filled the whole three thousand uh, person venue up, um, and had to turn people away. You know what I'm saying? Like they overpacked and cr so it's it's a trip when you come back here and. Um, you know, you do a show and it's like two or three hundred people there and shit. But the cold part about it is I do a show and it's like two or three hundred people there and it's a big venue. But these people, some people drive like for like miles, like a long way to come see a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like they done drove three or four hours to come see me. You know what I'm right. saying? Even though it's only three or four hundred people here, the people that are here drove miles to come see me. So I, I perform wait. anyway. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I couldn't wait to... Come see you got you have a fan base out here, but what do you think your biggest fan base is? Overseas? Um Yeah, pr well probably overseas, but but um definitely um in the in the Midwest and um in, in really, you know, California. Um, if you were to look at south, your analytics down south and stuff. If you were to look at your analytics and say, okay, where am I streaming more? That would probably be, you know. Let me um, up everybody. You know, you know, you know, you got two Spotify's, right? If you're an artist, yeah, you yeah, got your, you I'm got your, both your artist Spotify, and you got and your, you got you know. your regular Spotify. So I, I go to my uh, my artist Spotify, and you it know, shows your analytics. Yeah, what you're streaming, 
and it, it's crazy because you know you 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 look in and and you see um all of the songs that I, I these are the songs I want to perform when I uh do my shows and um it's so many, you know, like, so if I do a show and I don't sing the song you're looking for, man, don't be mad because it's like, <laughs> it's so many songs, you know, it's, it's you got to think it's so many albums and so many songs, even, and they go back to all the way to the 90s. You know, I, I, yeah. I'm damn near ready to challenge any rapper out here who got the biggest, ca who got a bigger catalog, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what song are you going to do for sure? Definitely 187 Proof. That's going to yeah. always be in the in the mix and, and um welcome to the ghetto those two are always gonna be in the mix what about i got five on it yeah yeah well you know i gotta do that you know um, right because i'm representing do you do ever do jealous got me strapped without without pop um i i, I let his verse play okay. you know um i definitely do jealous got me strapped um but it's like the um the i'm losing his song on the, on the last album, uh, on the uh, Are You Still Down album, I be wanting to do that too, you know. So it's like a few songs I want I did with Pac that I want to record, I be wanting to perform. Right. Yeah, no doubt about it. Like we got like seven, I can do, I can I can put out a whole, uh, at least an EP with just songs with me and me and Tupac on there. So stuff they ain't never heard? Or yeah, have I, they all been released? It's, it's some unreleased, it's some unreleased songs. Um, I'm sitting on right now. Let me now. get down. <laughs> <laughs> you work with a lot of artists. You never know. Your, you never know the answer yeah, unless you ask the yeah. fucking question. What's your um, favorite collab? You might say here, though. Well, um, definitely uh, my favorite collabs was was with man. You know, it was it was it was it was definitely it was Tupac, but it was it, it was just Roger, Roger Troutman was like some whole other other shit like Roger Troutman to, to do the song with him was like you know man you got some major features though mm -hmm. like right now you got one with Rick Ross I just heard yeah you did the one with Snoop y'all finally got one in yeah sickening um, who I said it's sickening yeah so, that shit that shit is dope yeah and then yeah. um well, who, who you was talking about? Hmm? Who you saying he had? Oh, I, that was in the past. I was just talking about Killer Tay shit and, and, and the old shit. Yeah. Well, well, something, something, <laughs> something else they could look for. No, it, it was, was, it was some, who? Destiny Disgusting. Oh, now that's oh, the shit right. right there. Destiny the motherfucking Disgusting. If they, if they look uh -huh. for, for uh, the album Platinum OG, it's kind of like a, a sleeper. Like a lot of people slept on the album, Platinum OG, right? So Platinum OG hit iTunes at number eleven, mm -hmm. independently. So I mean, you know, if if you slept on Platinum on OG, there? man, it's a song. It's songs on there with me and Sh me and Too Short and, and Pimp C, um, all the Outlaws, Dead and Alive. Like mm -hmm. it's just a lot of features on there. Yeah. Uh, Big Psych, everybody on there, man. It's like a me and uh, Corrupt and and and, and uh, Devin the dude got tracks on there. It's called Platinum OG. So if you slept on it, man, go uh, go check that out when you when you get the chance. Platinum OG, you you'll definitely like that. It's, it's some shit, you know. Especially the song with me and Too Short and um and um and Pimp C. Like that's that's really going, you know, you that's a rewinder. So once again, I want to ask you this question because I want to I want to ruffle some feathers. <clears throat> Who would you call out in the verses right now? Shit, man, that's 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 a crazy question because it's like I, anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I put hear what my the flows up against anybody. Anybody, you know I like, say, I say, Buster Rhymes. We coming to get your ass, Buster. Yeah, you want to talk can... all that shit? You can't fuck with Spice One, nigga. The giggity, giggity, and Buster, you know, Buster, that's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's never been. Tell me how fuck all that friendship. You, we be but friends after work. Buster know what's <laughs> We be friends <laughs> after work. You cannot fuck with Spice One, man. I know you got hits, nigga. It's all good. You raw as a motherfucker. You one of my favorite guys too, though. But anyway. Can't fuck with Spice One. Versus who, who, with Buster Rhymes coming soon 
with Spice One. Anybody who got any doubts about me, man, you ain't you just go listen to the catalog. And maybe you, you know, it is what it is, man. Go, go listen to the catalog. Oh, now nah, yeah, East Garfield. You know, up. listen to the catalog, man. Yeah. You know the flows is. I mean, face, from, from face reggae to, too, to I mean, it's, it's a lot of different shit. Face going his on. cousin. Yeah, Scarface, my cousin. So you know, it's it's. You know, it's shit. I, I don't know but, what to say. That's my guy. I can see you more with doing going against Buster. Yeah, it would be Buster for me. It would be Buster for me. And I mean, you know, because the 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 the, 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 the way Buster is saying that nobody can fuck with him, nobody want to do a versus with him, uh, and this that and the other though. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying right now we got somebody to say, "Come on, Buster." Buster. Yeah, because. What it is right now? You know, he, he, he <laughs> I mean, a, lo a lot of artists, they have songs that, that you know, that everybody know that, you know, they, they sing it with him. But, you know, it's like, you know, okay, let me let me throw some of my shit up in here. That motherfuckers ain't, ain't really heard, you know. Let me let y'all know what my flow really is. You even, know with your, even with your hits, though. Your hits. Even with the hits, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> a, a, along, you know. <laughs> And, and, and you know it's, it's 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 been a lot you know as far as even the movie soundtracks from it, you know what you know what's, what's crazy to me the triggers when, got no when when, when, when any you know I'm watching any any anybody I'm I'm saying this as the East Bay gangster anybody else who mentioned the Bay Area rappers and don't mention Spice motherfucking one. Mm. You nigga, out your body, you out your motherfucking body, nigga. The only nigga that ever made a, a rap about alcohol and, and, and oh, don't yeah. ever mention Hold any on. Bay Area no, rappers the, without did, mentioning did, Spice did, motherfucking one. You, you have to be yes. not knowing what the fuck you talking about or crazy. One eighty seven proof and one eighty seven pure. Yeah, it's, it's check it out. The the the, <laughs> the, the 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 way you feel, the the disrespect about that shit is 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 ridiculous. Hey, first West Coast Wu, Wu Tang appearance. I mean, you got the the only the only West Coast artist on the Wu Tang greatest hits. Like as far as that's what movie, about. movie soundtracks with, um, and, and, and platinum Hector records, Man. all of that shit. Yeah, to kill. Uh, it's like man, you know, um, you I I, I will feel some kind of way. You know, yeah, if yeah. a motherfucker mention Bay Area rap artists and don't mention Spice One, so for all my motherfuckers who really know what it is, check a nigga. If he say if he start mentioning Bay Area rap artists and don't say my name, man, either slap that nigga or tell him what it is. <laughs> okay, so listen, we gonna get ready to sign up out of this thing, man. We <laughs> no appreciate slapping. you coming. Let us know what you got for him to go get <laughs> right <laughs> now. What you got coming? Your your Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter. Um, um, all that TikTok. Only, fr only friends. What you call that shit? <laughs> TikTok. What you call that one? Only, uh, only, only fans. fans. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got my only fans yet, but you know, when I, when I do it, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'll let y'all know. <laughs> let them know what you got, though, big dog. Hit, hit me up on, hit me up on Instagram as the real spice one. You'll see the blue check on there. And so is my, um, my uh my Twitter is uh the real spice one. You'll see the blue check mark on, on both of those and, and uh so is my, my Facebook. You know, my Facebook is, is my my real name is Robert Green. I know everybody knows that, you know, shit, you know, it's all in the Green back of my with the records. E on the end. Yeah, you know. No, no, no E on the end. Just, That's how you really spell your name though. Yeah, you know, we, we had to <laughs> Oh, we had to, we had to switch all right, it. Up. Take that back. Take that back. <laughs> all right. Yes, no doubt about it, man. So once again, man. We brought you a great entertaining show. And if it wasn't entertaining to you, then fuck you. You missed. Let's check this out. We're going to keep on coming with the heat, man. And you know how we're going to keep on doing it. You dig, and I can dig it, can you? So we're going to sign out. You guys make sure that you guys go subscribe, man. And we have fun today. Go subscribe, yeah, go like, go comment, you know, comment tell your share. Friend. You know what I mean? And, and, and do all the things that are necessary for us to continue to prosper and grow and develop and uh, be great. Absolutely. Can you dig it? Can you dig it?